Hey Dumplies, it's Dave Decide. Today I want to get into the music video that was just released called That That. There has been some talk about deleting the song and what happened there. There's also funny memes of a Jungkook cameo in the song. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumplin, a tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. So a little backstory on the song That That by Psy and why it's a bit shocking to me. I did react to it on my Patreon, so if you want to see the full reaction, head over there, a link below, and if you can't find it, you can search for it on Patreon. Now, the song is very catchy and very good, but I was definitely surprised to see that Suga starred in it. I think they spoke about Suga being starred in it before the video was released, but typically the boys don't actually physically appear in a music video with other artists unless it's all seven. But I guess the label couldn't miss the opportunity for our Suga to be in a video with Psy that could potentially perform even better than Gundam Style. The video was very Western themed, and it was clear this was going to be intended for a Western Western release. I think that is what they did. I think the song, there are parts that sound similar to Gundam Style, like there was a build-up that sounded somewhat similar, and that's not a bad thing. It actually makes the song feel familiar, yet refreshing and still catchy. We tend to find familiar sounds to be catchy, and it just works. Initially, Suga had talked about how he was not even planning on being in the video, and if he was going to be in the video, he was definitely not planning on dancing or doing any of that. But lo and behold, he ended up dancing, and it was very cute. There was a couple of kinds of easter eggs Sai put in the video. This definitely goes to show you how well thought out these moments are. And the easter eggs are so simple where they're not odd if you're not an army, but definitely resonates with you if you are. One of the most crazy ones that was in the beginning when Suga arrived on set, you didn't see him for a minute, but you did see a car drive by and it was this blue with wooden themed paint on it. And if you go back to Dechita by Agusti, you would see that when he comes in, he comes in on a similar car. It might even be the same car and they just had it lying around for that set and brought it over. This was of course very cool for some people to realize because it brings the scene more context. It teases Suga coming in and we just see the car and then suddenly we see him jump down in front of the camera and then he appears with everyone. When he jumps down and walks towards Sai, I am 99% sure that that is a stunt double because right after when he is supposed to turn around, it cuts. And also I would assume it would be because it looked like a high jump. Another cute moment was when Sai hopped out of a car and did the Gundam style dance. He did it briefly, but obviously this was a huge homage to his biggest song to date and hoping that 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 breaks the Gundam style record. Can you believe Baby Shark is the number one most viewed on YouTube? Like YouTube really promoted that song and said that this is the song they want YouTube to be known for. Anywho, there was also some cute Photoshop moments that made it appear like the other members members made a cameo. People were hoping or looking if the other members had a cameo, but they didn't. I don't think so. However, this didn't stop the memes. People photoshopped a moment from Dechi Tao and, and added Jin and Jungkook's cameo from that video to Sai's video, and it was really funny. I thought it was interesting that even though Jungkook had nothing to do with the video, he was still trending with a million tweets. I think it was mixed with cute moments that ARMY made of this, but also Jungkook doing a Q&A on Instagram, which is a video for another time. I was so excited to see how excited Suga and Sai were to release this. Suga didn't play a small part in this video. He really was featured in it and starred in it and even produced the beat and likely even arranged the vocals. He might have even been more active on it than Sai was. And that's pretty awesome to me. ARMY and Sai supporters were all streaming this and they were all making goals and they were really trying to get the views up. There were people mad at YouTube for freezing the views as much as I love to call out racism and I do that for everything. I think YouTube freezing the views is not related to that. YouTube freezes the views for most music videos the day it drops. This is just how it works. They need to verify if the views are real. There is many legal reasons why they would have to do that because these advertisers have to pay for those views, the ads you see before the music video. So if you're using bots or fake views, YouTube will not count those. And of course, it's not fair to the advertisers to pay for views that aren't real humans. I think a lot of the fandom have tried this before where they will buy fake views for the video but YouTube ultimately will just adjust the views and it will be a waste of whoever bought those views because YouTube will just take it off so don't do that it's a waste of your money and time but also don't support these shady fake views types of websites now real quick how to stream properly let me just quickly go over it you stream the music video don't hit refresh it doesn't increase the views this is typically what the bots will do so YouTube notes that as inhuman activity instead 
instead go to another video, whether that's another music video or stream this video again, and then go back to the music video and then it counts as two views. If you just refresh, you can refresh 50 times, it's still one view. There's a lot of uh, tips and tricks floating around of real and valid methods of streaming, but this is probably the most easy and straightforward and will likely be the least controversial one to do. Another one that was shocking to see was a bunch of people asking other armies to delete or remove their purchase of that that from their iTunes history. I don't understand iTunes very well, so I can't advise what to do here or if it's legit advice, but I think it's weird that this is something that exists. I don't know if it's like a glitch or something, but apparently if you bought the song on iTunes, it counts as one purchase. And then how many times you stream after that point, iTunes doesn't count any additional things for the iTunes charts, which is weird because it definitely should count, right? If I bought a song on iTunes and if it's literally the only song I play for the next day or so, all those streams don't count. So some armies have resulted in telling others to delete the song from iTunes history. And I don't know if this allows you to buy it again, or if it then allows you to stream on iTunes and have every stream count. But this doesn't make much sense to me. I feel like iTunes would have patched this over already. I've also seen armies and fans get mad at other accounts that are reposting or reacting to the music video. If you don't know the controversy behind this, this is because people will watch the videos that these accounts post and not the official music video on size account, which they believe is the only way to stream the song where it counts towards the charts. However, if you look up on Google, who owns YouTube, you'll very quickly learn that any of the videos that have the song in the video, whether that's a lyric video, reaction video, or someone just re-uploading the music video, those views count towards the YouTube music charts. So anything counts. There's so many armies that get so mad, like they get so riled up on Twitter that other people are posting the music video and they want the song completely deleted from social media and for only the one official one to exist on Sai's channel. But there's literally millions of people watching and the fact that these people think that they can control millions of people is ridiculous to me. But also all of that helps the song go number one. And also the creator who does reaction videos or lyric videos make zero dollars from doing this. They do it because it's fun for them and 99% of channels are not selling anything. If you go to the description, it's not like they're telling you to buy their original song or whatever or tell you to buy anything. They're just simply doing it for the fandom. When a music video is released and there's tons of backlash, there's either backlash from new viewers as the song hits radio and everyone is like, oh, what's this? Or there's backlash from people in the fandom. People are either like, oh, this wasn't what I was expecting or people are like, they didn't like it. Or the thing that bothers me is when people in the fandom try to control the fandom and tell people what they can and cannot say about the song or that they can't react to the song or whatever they say. Let people do their thing and you do your own thing. I love seeing music videos everywhere and it being reposted everywhere. I think it's quite nice to see so many versions of the song and people might not realize that the song is out. Like for example, if you're an ARMY or a hardcore Psy supporter, then you know that Psy has a song. But Psy hasn't posted a song in ages. What if you liked him or liked Gundam Style but just wasn't aware that he was back? But follow these lyric video channels or reaction channels. Well, now you're made aware that something is back. One or two channels reacting to a video it doesn't do much, but several hundred definitely helps. And back when I used to do reaction videos, I'd have K-pop labels PR team reach out to me asking to do a reaction video for their new artist songs. And that's the thing, you don't even have to be really big, they just want everyone to react to it. So anyone even with 100 followers that makes K-pop reaction videos may even get an email asking this. Personally, I turned it down, I liked the video, but I would feel a bit more pressure to react positively, even if I hated it since the label asked. So that's why I never took the request from them. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. I think this is a lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.